I'm starting to get worried. I have no idea how much money I owe. I owe Jason Somerville $14,000. My credit card bill is $11,000. I might be in debt $25,000. Let's talk about the absurdity of where I'm at. I'm $25,000 in the hole, and I figured there's no better time than to hire a videographer and an editor. Corey, you're in debt. You're an idiot. Don't do this. I did it. This is when I realized the gambling went too far. I wanted to shift my focus to YouTube, hire a team, and build a business. I've been making money from YouTube, so why not try to scale it and get out of debt? We got our first potential editor. Carlo Scarpa. Carlo and I exchanged less than a dozen emails before I said, Hey! You wanna come here in person? Psychopathic. To which he responded, I mean, I guess. I don't see why not. <laughs> so now we have this random ass college kid who agreed to come to Dallas in three days. The only issue is my credit card is maxed out. I walked into Chipotle two days ago, ordered a burrito, ran the MasterCard, it went beep, declined. And I was like, try it again, beep, declined. I ran it three times. It got declined every single time. The cashier said, look, dude, just take it. And I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, thank you. So I can't afford to fly Carlo out, and I also can't afford to pay him. If I can't afford a burrito, how the f*** am I gonna pay an editor? Well, five days after the burrito incident, I got paid by YouTube. Well, there we go. We got an editor pulling through. <sighs> Carlo and I edited all day and night. We quickly ran into a problem. Carlo and I use different software to edit. He uses Adobe Premiere, I use Final Cut. Carlo uses a Windows, I use a MacBook. Final Cut is Mac exclusive. So it makes it very difficult to collaborate on projects. I couldn't think of a solution. Mind you, we met two days ago. We, I offered to buy him a brand new MacBook. <laughs> so we're currently en route to go spend money that we don't have to pick up a device that we don't know how to use. Hilariously enough, we got dropped off at the wrong location. There's an entrance right here. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Starbucks at a grocery store. Oh, Tom, yeah, it's in Tom Thumb, apparently. It's in the grocery it's store. in the grocery store? Apparently, that's what the guy said. It's Best Buy, not Starbucks. Okay, I, I understand it looks like we're going to grab cereal. We're grabbing a $2,500 computer. They might have just a bunch of apples. <laughs> Has a much different meaning here. <laughs> oh my God, that's a really big discount. Do you think they have Final Cut pre-installed on them? I'm not sure which version. It might be outdated. This actually is just a grocery store. I don't. <laughs> this, this is not Best, Best Buy. Buy. We went to Best Buy. This is the Best Buy. <laughs> well, we're here, and they have Apple. We're very close. <laughs> just the classic misunderstanding. <laughs> we just got boozled. <laughs> what actually just happened? Best Buy. Yeah, we actually just got out of an Uber, and he dropped us off here and said, "Yeah, no, you're in Best Buy." It was, it it was, was a Tom a Thumb. This is the best Best Buy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank All right, you. thank you. Watch as Corey takes the remainder of his cash and makes it disappear. You know where the Mac should be? This is legitimately all the cash that we have to our name right now and it's very much not $3,100. And if you look, that number is conveniently just about a MacBook Pro. The only issue with that is I was gonna fly another editor out here on Monday, haven't booked his ticket, haven't paid him either, haven't paid Carlo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, we have to make some money. Also, you don't have to pay me if you're buying me a MacBook. Okay. <laughs> that's, I think that's, that's fair, okay. at least. So this, this is your payment? Yeah. Deal. 
You guys ready to check out? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Can I get the phone number? 603. I'm walking out with my entire bank in my hands. My entire bank balance is being held under my forearm. Bank account? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave my bank to you. <laughs> this is crazy. Come in the block, come in the block. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're broke. What's up? We're dirt broke. Yes, you too, yeah, man. Me too. <laughs> I don't think you heard what you said. Glad to hear that, bro. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, literally. And this is the reality. People thought I faked the shit. <laughs> He's not bullshit. This motherfucker gives no fucks about anything. I think it hasn't even been a week since I sent you our first email. You want to go play 1-2 tonight? I'm down to do that, yeah. Okay. I have $28,000. I have $160 in my bank account, $1,600 in cash, $250 in PayPal. I'm supposed to fly a second editor out tomorrow, but I haven't booked this flight and I don't have a salary. I need to come up with essentially $1,000 within 24 hours. I have an idea. Someone hired me as a consultant for YouTube. That's what I'd say most vloggers are doing. Those are the three main points. All right, yeah, shoot me a text or email and uh, we'll reconvene. Yeah, okay, perfect. Have a good day. All right. He said it was really interesting. Do you want to do a longer term partnership for an hour? The issue is I think is incredibly fair, but I really need 2K at the moment. I either accept an offer lower than what I think is fair or I counter with a higher number and risk losing out on the deal entirely. If we get that within the next 24 hours, that would cover the second editor's flight. Feels like we're just playing cat and mouse. We get a few K, we dust a few K. Get a few K, dust a few K. I'm gonna wake up and just owe 50 grand. Remember we were talking about whether or not it's actually crazy in person? It fucking is. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking is. It's bad when you have to start breaking out the 20s. <laughs> oh my god. Three, four, five. We got there. Holy hell. We'll have dust for a reload. Maybe $86. That'll play. It'll definitely play. All right, we got called for 2 5. Let's run it. I'm walking to the table with practically the only cash to my name. My goal is to sit and wait for the nuts. I cannot afford to play bad cards. What's up, Barry? What's up? You're pretty funny, dude. You, you overdo it with your whole bankroll on the line. Your bankroll isn't on the line here, is it? Overdone? My brother in Christ! I'm in debt! Buy a fucking hoodie, please! Hey, no strip search, he's a big fan. For what it's worth, it's all real. Alright, it seems a little bit. Over dramatic. But, this guy yeah. knows real. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> do you want a spoiler? Yeah, I do. Sure. We're 28k in debt right now. Oh. I believe. I mean, you're playing. You're playing over your over your head. You're, you're fine, buddy. We'll be good. You're, you're you're good. You're young yet. How old are you? 23. Yeah. I'm fine. Who gives a hey, shit? Hey, bro. Inflation's on your side. No. That is very true. The thing about poker is. Some days, fate rests in the cards. You and your opponent are both dealt strong hands, and you're just destined to lose or win a lot of money. Tonight was that night. 20 minutes into the session, I looked down at pocket eights in the cutoff. Under the gun raises to $15. Under the gun one calls, and action folds to me. I make the call, but now the button raises to $90. The other two players call, and action's back on us. I'm closing the action with a really easy hand to play post flop. Every other player has well over $1,500 left in their stack, so if I hit a set, there's plenty of money left to play for. I make the call. We go four ways to a flop, a jack eight seven with two hearts. We flop middle set on a very connected board. Under the gun checks. Under the gun one checks as well. I decide to get tricky and check. Praying for the button to bet. 
He does. The button fires $250. Under the gun folds, and the next player folds as well. Action is back on us. We're losing to 10-9 and pocket jacks. That's it. We're beating flush draws, lower sets, two pairs, over pairs. We should have the best hand here nearly always. If I call, there's a lot of turn cards that will kill the action. Any heart, nine, 10, or jack might cause over pairs to check back. And there's so many hands that we're ahead of right now. I really want to get the money in while I think we're ahead. I raised $600, setting up a price for me to jam all queen turn cards. But it doesn't even come to that as the button jams all in for $1,500. I snap ball the first hand we play. We're all in for everything we got. My heart is beating out of my chest. There's $3,000 in the middle. This would cover my second editor's flight and his salary for the entire week. It's so fucking stupid to gamble with money that you can't afford to lose. But we're here now, and I'm praying we have the best hand. For the love of God, please hold. The turn card seems irrelevant. The dealer burns and places down the nine of hearts. The flush draw completes, any 10 makes a straight, and my heart drops. The button goes to roll his hand over, and I don't even want to look at what he shows. He has ace jack for top pair, top kicker. We scoop a massive pot. Let's fucking go! We get a full double up. We have three thousand dollars in our stack. I'm ecstatic. Most sessions come down to one, two, or three notable hands. It takes thirty seconds to go to the moon or straight down the gutter. It's close to one in the morning. I'm honestly ready to get out of here. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you as well. Carlo also won $375. The boys had a great night. But with a new day, new issues arise. This is absolutely withering. When do the YouTube checks hit? Not soon enough, brother. <laughs> it's the end of the month. Uh, it hit a week ago. Oh, fuck. The only reason you're out here is because that check hit on the 21st. <laughs> The second editor, I texted him this morning, I was like, Hey, you gonna come here tomorrow? He said, yep, sounds good. The only issue is kind of a big one. I haven't booked this flight, so let's try to do that now. All right, it looks like it's gonna be $500 round trip. Could be worse. Oh my God. With this balance, I can barely afford a 25 cent, 50 cent. But if you want to play poker with me, follow me on Instagram and DM me the word donkey. Three days ago, I had 4,000. Then I bought Carlos flight, bought him a MacBook. <laughs> I went to play poker with a single buy-in, won $1,500. Now I have $3,000 in cash and I have to transfer it to my bank, which I can't because it's only a local bank in New Hampshire. I'm in fucking Texas. Here's the play, actually. Yo. Yo, can I give you a thousand cash for Venmo or PayPal or some sh- Uh, I actually can't. <laughs> Fuck. Tell me I'm drawing yeah. dead. I know you're not going to answer. I need to book this guy's flight. How am I going to do that with 24 bucks? This morning, our client, kind of insane that we have a client, we do. He wanted to send me $2,000 for a certain number of hours. I decided to counter. I asked for $2,500 for the same number of hours. To which our client said, nothing. He didn't reply. I followed up, crickets. I blundered the fucking deal. Is what I thought until I refreshed my email. He said, let's do it. He said yes to $2,500. The only issue is that money is pending. He hasn't sent it yet. So I'm just waiting. I don't, I can't hit him up and be like, Hey, can you send the f***ing money right now? It's very urgent. That's not a thing. <laughs> the next idea, trade money with a poker player. 
Yo, can I give you uh, oh, yeah, come over and give you one for Sweet. There you are. Appreciate you, sir. I transferred Venmo to bank, ate the instant transfer fee, booked the flight. Now we have this in cash and we owe 24000 But the second editor's on the way. The night the second editor flew in was the night that Carlo flew out. I've only known him for a few days, but we got a lot done, and it makes me really excited about the future. There's so much effort that goes into these videos that you don't see, and it's really nice to share that process with someone else. Carlo's a really good kid. He works hard, and it's people like that that I want to surround myself more with. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. All right. Yeah, bro. Thanks for uh, flying me out here. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming on very short notice. Yeah. I think this is just the start. I start of something so. sick. I hope so. I hope all so right. too. All right, see you flight. Thank you. Don't lose it all before I'm back. No promises, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sixth stint. Carlo just left. I think I may have just found an editor. The second editor flew in, and this trip did not go nearly as well.